Creative Chica here, aka Tony, and this morning I am doing a Valentine's Day tag. I was tagged by Jamie's Disney Kingdom. Now, he didn't actually tag me on his video, but he uh, Instagrammed me and told me, he said, I really, really want you to do it. He forgot that, I guess he forgot. I mean, you it's easy to forget here on YouTube. So, Jamie, I'm going to do your tag. Oh my goodness, my hair. So anyway, let's get started. And uh, at the end, I will tag a couple people. And here's the thing. If you would like to do this tag, go ahead and do it. I want to get it done before Valentine's Day. So maybe y'all, like today is Thursday, February 13th. So yeah, I'm getting real, real close to Valentine's Day here. So anyway, so the first one is, number one, Valentine's Day overhyped or a fun day to spend, to, uh, to spend, to, yeah, you can spend. <laughs> You can spend for Valentine's Day to spread the love. Um, you know, it like Jamie said, it could be both. You know, like every holiday is overhyped. I mean, like, you know, the stores and stuff, they get you in. They, they get you in there to buy that stuff, you know. So, I mean, they make too many cute things for the holidays. So, it's kind of hard to resist sometimes. But, um, I don't know. I think, it, I think it is a fun day. Um, you know, like... At least it's something to do or something to look forward to and a lot of people get married on Valentine's Day and actually my husband he had wanted us to get married on Valentine's Day but I really I didn't want to do that for some reason I don't know I just wanted to go ahead and get married so we got married in August which was like the hottest day of the year I don't know sometimes I wish I would have got married on Valentine's Day then he probably would have you know remembered it <laughs> no he remembers he remembers our anniversary all the time Okay, number two, what was your favorite Valentine's Day memory? Honestly, I started thinking about, I don't, I don't really have like a, I don't, I don't remember, to be honest, I don't have a memory. <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, you know, there has been several occasions, you know, my husband would bring me flowers or candy, you know, but, uh, and, you know, go out to eat and stuff, I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal um, to me, to us. I mean, we just like, we just go with the flow. Just like, you know, I asked him yesterday, I said, are we doing anything for Valentine's Day? That's that's what happens whenever you're married 35 years. So anyway, but it, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I, I can't, I really don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't have one, y'all. I don't have one. Um, I really don't. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, it, like, you know, several times we've been out, like, going to the movies or going out to eat or something like that. It's not a big deal. Okay. Number three, conversation horse or chocolate-covered strawberries? Oh, my gosh. Well, it has to be chocolate-covered strawberries, y'all. I've made those before. And I watched the other day, Lisa and Wheels Hall. Lisa was making some chocolate-covered bouquets, strawberries. And those was those look really good. She had, like, this little pot. Hang on for a sec. But anyway, yeah, she had like this little melting pot. I guess you could get it off of Amazon. So I said, hmm. That I mean, that would be easy easier way to melt chocolate. I mean, and she made them. I mean, she made it look so easy. You know, she drizzled the chocolate on top after she dipped it, and it they it turned out so cute. And uh, I remember one time, um, I think my daughter in law was here, and my son. My, and my son and my daughter-in-law were here and we made chocolate covered strawberries and they turned out really really good but of course we had to melt in melt the chocolate in the uh, microwave but you know you can do it either way but that melting pot that's that's a good idea if you make that you know if you like making that sort of stuff you could also like you know dip you some pretzels in there and all that good stuff so yeah I might get one I don't know I don't know my husband he's not really big on sweets and stuff so I really don't you know bake a lot anymore or do anything like that so anyway hang on okay I had to get me some coffee because I'm still coughing and my eyes are watering this morning and that just fantastic okay that was number three the conversation hearts and I'll have all these uh, written down for y'all so make it easier for y'all to uh, check it out or do it <laughs> my hair my hair is like ugh. okay so number four choose a celebrity to be your Valentine ooh, 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 ooh. Um, it would have to be Jamie Dor Dornan. I had to look him up. I didn't know what his name, his name is. Mr. Gray. <laughs> Mr. Kristen Gray. Um, I'm sure that several of you ladies know who I'm talking about. I mean, uh, his name is Jamie 
Dornan. Dornan. I just know him as Kristen Gray. Oh, my gosh. I mean, isn't he just the sexiest thing you ever want to, like, be around? I mean, come on now. I mean, hey. That would be my celebrity. That would be my choice. I'm not, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not a big celebrity person. Um, my husband isn't either. He goes, I, he goes, I'm not a stargazer. I said, well, you know, I do enjoy, like, you know, watching, you know, what's going on with them sometimes. But I don't. Honestly, like a favorite celebrity and stuff. I'm just, I just don't get into that. I don't know what it is, but some people are like, oh, you know, they love this one and that one and whatever, you know. But I just like, you know, I, it's no big deal to me with these celebrities, to be honest with you. I mean, I do like Tom Cruise, but I'm not like, you know, like obsessed with him. Um, I don't know who else, who else, who else comes to mind. I don't know. I mean, I like some singers, too, like um, Luke Bryan and uh, what's that other guy's name? I don't know. There's several. Several, several. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, well, you know that I love the Jonas Brothers. Yes, I do. And I love Post Malone, too. So, hey. Okay. But I'm not like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, number five. Who are you celebrating Valentine's Day with this year? Well, I'm celebrating Valentine's Day with my hubby. And uh, our middle son, uh, he's here with us. And um, so uh, let me see what else. Okay, so the next question is, that's number five, okay? I'm celebrating them. Um, actually, my one of my grandson's birthdays is on the 15th, so we're probably going to go over and visit him. But that's, wait, that's past Valentine's Day, so hmm. he was almost born on Valentine's Day, and he should have been because he's a sweetheart. But then again, no, he shouldn't have because he was a preemie. But, um, anyway, well, that, that'll that be another story another day, but, um, he's going to be turning five years old, and he's just, uh, the smartest little fella you ever want to meet. Okay, back to the Valentine's Day. I'll I tell you what, I get sidetracked, y'all. I get sidetracked, sorry. Okay, what is your Valentine's Day dinner plan? Well, yesterday, I was, I was thinking about, I was telling my husband, I said, uh, are we going to do anything for Valentine's Day? And he kind of looked up from his YouTube, which he watches all the time, and he goes, um, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> and I said, well, it would be nice to go out to eat. He goes, well, where do you want to eat at? I said, at Mater's. Uh, we have, a, like, a little steakhouse here in our little uh, hometown, and um, it's called Mater's. And they serve steak, and um, it's very, very good food. So we usually go there for a special occasion. We go there for our anniversary. So I said, I said, I really do want to go, but, you know, like our son is here with us. And I said, I don't, you know, I would like, you know, I don't want to be, like, taking off and just leaving him here. He goes, well, let's take him with us. So he's going to go with us. So the three of us are going to go to Major's for a nice steak dinner for Valentine's Day. Um, so number seven, red or pink. Well, what do you all think? I, pink, of course. I, pink is my favorite color. I mean, red is a beautiful color, and a, a lot of people will say, would tell me, like, if I wear something red, that you look, you know, like your color is red. But I, uh, no, I like pink. You know, and today I'm wearing a Christmas shirt. Look, it's got the red truck on it. I bought it at Amazon. I said, you know what? It was like there in my closet. I said, I'm wearing this sucker today because, you know, that's how I roll, y'all. That's how I roll. Even though, you know, it's Christmas, I'm going to wear it out shopping because, you know, I got to get some wear out of this thing just during the Christmas holidays. No, no, I'm not doing that. So that's how I roll, y'all. Okay, the next one. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, number eight, flowers or candy? Well, candy. Um, I, I love flowers. My husband, he would bring me home flowers. You know, sometimes I feel like flowers are a waste of money because they die, but they're gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful thought and everything like that, but yeah, bring me the candy. Bring me the candy, people. Bring me the candy. <laughs> okay, number nine, sushi or pizza? Ugh. Sushi, oh, why is my nose itching? Does that mean somebody's coming to visit me? Hey, y'all, hey. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not crazy, y'all. I'm drinking my coffee. Hang on. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Sushi or pizza? Well, pizza, of course. i tell you what I like. I like the Pizza Hut pizza, the barbecue on there, the barbecue one. That is like my favorite. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. But, you know, like, we, can, we don't have pizza every week. That would be way, way, way too much. We have it just every once in a while. Sushi, 
I'm just not into sushi. Like I said, one time I did eat it at SeaWorld. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I had sushi at SeaWorld. <laughs> Um, we went to some kind of restaurant down there. It was like, you go under and it, there's like an aquarium all the way around you. It was kind of cool. So, yeah, I, I had some sushi. I had my husband taste it and he spitted it out. He's, he's, he's just not, like, he just likes regular food. He don't like any of that new stuff or, I don't know if sushi's new, but, yeah, we don't care for sushi. No. A lot of people go out to eat sushi. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Okay, number 10, beer or wine. Well, I don't like beer. Now, when in my younger days, I would drink a beer, but to me, I just don't like beer, period. But, wine, no. I'm not, I'm not a drinker. I just, um, I'm just not a drinker. Now, um, I will have a nice little shot of Fireball Whiskey every once in a while, but other than that, I, now, I used to drink rum and coke, but, you know, around this house, we just don't drink. We, we don't. My, my husband, he'll, he'll have a beer, you know, occasionally, um, like on a weekend or something. But other than that, you know, we, we're just not drinkers around here. We don't drink. Okay, number 11. Describe your perfect Valentine's Day night. Well, um, with my hubs of 35 years, I guess it's 35, or have we been together for 35? I don't know. We got married in 1986, so I don't know. We've been together at least 35 years. <laughs> um, I would have to say I, I so enjoy going to the movies with my husband and going out to eat. That is like that's like our little date that we do, and we sometimes we'll do it like on the weekends or whatever. We don't do it during the weekdays because he's too tired. You know, he works all through the week, so on the weekends there was what if there's a good movie on. Like, he, know, he knows how to pick the movies, okay? Sometimes I, I question, I say, well, you know, uh, okay, I'll go. You know, like, I don't I don't know what this movie's about. But once I go, it's like, dang, that movie was darn good. So he's a really good movie picker. And uh, also go out to eat. Now, take it, he and I are not fancy people. Um, I mean, we can go to McDonald's and be happy or go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell is one of our favorites, but sometimes we'll go to like a Mexican restaurant. Um, there's one over there in Lakeland. What's it called? Um, I can't remember. It's called a burro, a, burro, a burros or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, they got really, really good uh, Mexican food there. So sometimes we'll do something like that, you know, or we'll go to like Outback or... Um, to, uh, well, I was fixing to say Tuesday morning. <laughs> what's that? What's that restaurant's name? His name is Tuesday something. I don't. I don't know. I, I is there still one around? I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever. <laughs> hmm. So anyway, a movie and dinner. That's that would be a wonderful uh, night. Now, like um. Hey, he could take me to the car races. I would be happy. Like, hey, we used to go to car races all the time. Love that sort of thing. Okay, so this is number 12, tag a friend. So um, last night I was I saw uh, Stanky Cheese. I did. I seen her. on. Uh, she's, she's my Snapchat buddy. And she said that she would love to do it. So Stanky, Miss Phoenix, you're tagged. Hang on. Um. Debbie Unleashed, you're tagged if you want to, honey. You can do it. Any any of y'all, any of my YouTube people out there, go ahead and tag yourself. Do it. Have fun with it. And, have, you know, make you a video. And um, so that's it. That's it. That's my little Valentine's Day tag, guys. So I appreciate everybody for watching. And please like and subscribe. I'm almost to 1K, y'all. I'm almost to 1K. I'm so excited. And, um, yeah. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye, guys. I'm fixing to go to town. So I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.